Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you and we're looking at Mino Simmons. Uh, it has to be said that some theologians and thinkers that I talk about are not necessarily people that I would agree with. Uh, I'm only sharing people that I've read or that I find an interest uh, that I think you might be of interest in reading about. Uh, Mino Simmons was around from 1496 to 1561. Uh, he was um, an Anabaptist leader uh, in the Friesland region of the Low Countries. Um, he was brought up um, in a wanton country um, and that had a big impact on his life. Um, he began uh, at, an, uh, at an early age in his life to read the early church fathers. Um, that led him to uh, study Latin and Greek um, and helped him to become a priest. Uh, he was ordained a Roman Catholic priest in uh, 1515 or 1516 and appointed a chaplain uh, in his father's village in uh, Pingjum in 1524. Around 1526 to 1527 uh, there was a controversy on transubstantiation and Mino Simmons studied the Bible and came to a different conclusion than the Roman Catholic Church. Um, Simmons became involved in studying about uh, baptism and came to an understanding uh, that infant baptism was unbiblical through studying the Bible at the early church fathers, etc. Um, by 1536, Simmons had rejected the Catholic Church and the priesthood. Uh, when he was baptized, nobody really fully knows. But by October 8, 1536, um, he became strongly involved with the life of uh, the Anabaptist. He writes in Why I Do Not Cease Teaching and Writing, for true evangelical faith is of such a nature that it cannot lie dormant, but manifest itself in all righteousness and works of love. It dies unto flesh and blood, destroys all forbidden lust and desires, cordially seeks, serves and fears God, clothes the naked, feeds the hungry, consoles the afflicted, shelters the miserable, aids and consoles all the oppressed, returns good for evil, serves those that injure it, Praise for those that persecute it, teaches and domishes, reproves with the word of the Lord, seeks that which is lost, binds up that which is wounded, heals that which is diseased, and saves that which is sound. The persecution, suffering, and anxiety which befalls it for the sake of the truth of the Lord, is it a glorious joy and consolation. In theology, uh, Simmons took a very strong view, like John Calvin on excommunication, uh, he would use uh, the language of the Old Testament, such as the Song of Solomon about Christ as uh, the Bride of Christ. Uh, he strongly began to oppose uh, infant baptism and became uh, an adult Baptist in contrast to Luther. Uh, he preached uh, a pacifism um, which influenced Dutch Mennonites to become peaceful. Uh, so those are the influences of uh, this uh, formidable theologian, uh, Mino Simmons. Thank you for listening and God bless you.